What would you say is the best job for somebody who likes to blaze? We talked about worst jobs the other day, but I want to hear from you. What do you think is the best job? Because there's a lot of jobs out there, but not a lot of them are suitable for somebody who likes to get high. And I do want to say, never let the fact that you want to get high stop you from being successful. Don't let it. It's wild. It's crazy to think about. But also on the same page, I think if the job doesn't want me to get high, I don't want the job. Just know this list is super serious and all of these answers are scientifically proven. But number one on the list, we talked about lawyers being one of the worst jobs for somebody who likes to get high. I think in the same room, we're in the same courtroom here. I think the judge has got to be a stoner. I don't want the person who's defending me to be high but the person who decides the judge i'm i don't know about the jury here maybe this isn't a jury case i'm not too familiar with the legal system but the judge sometimes the judge just decides everything i want them to be chill like that you walk in the courtroom the judge has dreads you might be getting an easier sentence also like you don't do crime no crimes guys don't commit crimes so you don't have to worry about whether your judge is chill like that or not or you don't have to freak out because you accidentally hired a lawyer who you know what? Kind of smells like mids on the way in. Number two on the list. I don't know if these are numbered. I'm just going to rapid fire you with some answers. But creator, my type of job, YouTuber, Twitch streamer. Come get high with me on Twitch. I do a sesh every night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. But Twitch is free. People tell me all the time they don't want to join the Twitch stream because they don't want to pay money. It's free. If you have Amazon Prime, you can also support me for free. But creator, and this could be film creator. It even leads into my next answer of like artists and entertainers. Some of them are creators. Some of them are more just performers, but like a painter, a musician. Like if I had to sit around all day and try to come up with some songs or something that I think are going to bang, I got to be high. Like music sounds better when I'm lit. So I'm, I'm going to assume that I could make better music if I'm lit. Same with painting. Like, I'm going to do a better job, I think, if I'm blasted. Artist, entertainer, singer. I don't know if you want to do like a fat rip before you go sing something, but but I bet if you look at a lot of artists and entertainers and then you ask them, uh, hey, bro, uh, do you smoke? They'll say, smoke what? Not cigarettes, right? Also, artist, entertainer, could be like a writer, like somebody who's writing a novel. I don't know if I could just sit here and type for hours and hours trying to come up with stuff if I'm not lit, which while I wasn't really writing books or anything, I used to do work as a blogger. I would sit at my computer all day and... Clack, clack, clack away, just typing. You finish a post, you finish a page, it's, ah, let's do a fat rip so I can write another one. I will say the coffee got me to the computer and got me started on the writing, but taking fat hits kept me at the desk and kept me going. Also in that, like other computer stuff, web design, a web developer, you're making a website. It take a few hits before you get started because Brad, it's gonna come out better and you're gonna have a much easier time doing it. Now this one's an easy answer. I probably could have put it first, but anything in the 420 space, getting a job at a legal shop as a bud tender or a trimmer or a grower, getting a job at a head shop, just selling pipes. Those places exclusively do not care if you're getting high. And honestly, you might get a discount on the stuff that you use to do it. I do have to point out that I've worked a bunch of jobs and working as a bud tender was not my favorite but I've talked to some people and they seem to really like it I, I really think it depends on your customer base and where your store is located because these shops are so different between states and between different levels of legality some places are just so chill and so relaxed compared to other places that are like super corporate businesses make sure you put the sticker in the right spot double triple check their ID make sure blah 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 some of them are wild now next one on the list I, this is probably number 17 right i'm not counting but everybody at a restaurant when you go everybody there is high i'm pretty sure the person who seats you the host the person who takes your order the server the person who makes your food the cook the person who cleans up after you eat the busser right before the dinner rush they were all session behind the dumpster in the back now you're probably not going to be one of those cool guy waiters that goes up to the table of like eight to ten people and just like doesn't write it down and takes everybody's order and what did you want and what did you want and what did you want? Yeah, I'm not writing this down. I am Justin Long in that one movie. 
waiting and i'm super cool and i can remember all this i actually had a waiter do this the other day it was so funny there wasn't that many of us i think there was five or six of us bro it's just taking our order he's not writing it down and we're all like oh he didn't write any of that down and we're like yeah bro it's so cool and like he just took our drink order and he forgot like one of the drinks and he messed up one like it was like five or six drinks and he messed it up i thought it was funny we're all talking about how cool it's gonna be like oh bro he's one of those guys that just has like that super great memory he's remembering everything we say and he's gonna bring all of our drinks no issue he comes back was was this a did you want a sprite or a water was it i couldn't remember it was a sprite or a water like he remembered it was clear i think so you're probably not gonna remember 10 people's order as a server if you're super lit but write it down it doesn't take that much i was thinking about this and some people might think that food critic the person who like rates and reviews food and tells you what's good and bad would be like a good job for a stoner or somebody but i don't think so bro like when i'm lit like the stuff that's not good is good. Stuff that's okay is amazing. Like if, if you get really high and you start trying to do like food reviews, you're giving it everything a 10 out of 10. Like you're gonna be like, oh bro, I put crumpled Cheetos on some shredded cheese on top of a tortilla and I ate it, bro. 12 out of 10, it was the best food ever. You try that when you're not high and you're like, what, what did I eat? I really ate this. There's some meals out there where I ate it while I was high and it's like, oh my God, bro. And then you think about it later, you're like, I, I'm not eating that. <laughs> nah, that's not for me. I'm gonna skip that one. Nah, oh, bro, trust me. A peanut butter and olive sandwich, it's gonna be lit. So I don't know if food critic would be like an ideal job. It's one you'd wanna do, right? You wanna get high and eat a bunch of food, but I don't know if you're gonna do like the best job. We got a bonus one here, but I gotta remind you, come get lit with me on Twitch. We do a sesh every night. Also check out my new podcast, the High Chat Podcast. We got like a dozen episodes out. But the last one on the list, this is like a bonus. It's, bro, it's a super serious answer, but teacher, your teacher. Now hear me out, it's not every teacher it's not every subject. English teacher, gotta be high. Math teacher, no thanks. PE teacher, definitely. Make him twice as high. Music teacher, of course, obvious. Art teacher, definitely. Science teacher, I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe. Depends on the day. What are we talking about that day? What other subjects do they have in school? Basket weaving? History? History, you gotta blaze. Either way, that's the list. Come get lit with me on Twitch. Have a lit day, my dudes.